little bit. Hey, trying to move just a little I'm gonna bit. I'm going moves until I'm all out of touch. Yeah. See me with the crew, we gon' bubble till that bust. Yeah. I don't plan to lose nothing on my niggas clutch. Yeah. I don't plan to lose nothing on my niggas clutch. Yeah. I'm gonna make these moves until I'm all out of touch. Yeah. See me with the crew, we gon' bubble till that bust. Yeah. I don't plan to lose nothing on my niggas clutch. Yeah. I don't plan to lose nothing on my niggas clutch. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm trying to move just a little bit. Ah, y'all see what I did there? Y'all see what I did there? I still played the song. I just didn't play it first. Yeah, that was Slick with the T, or T Slick as we call him here at All Hustle No Fear. Y'all can check him out. Um, what's his Instagram? El Jefe, something like that. But uh, he got really dope music. And shout out to him for uh, creating my first theme song. So we'll play that later on in the day. Um, y'all, I've been doing a really good job of posting to, uh, YouTube. I usually don't post like I, like I'm usually just going live on YouTube, but, um, goals wanted to monetize. And I learned that a way to monetize quicker is to use your, uh, shorts to gain more followers, which it really did work. Like my follower count went up immediately. Uh, and I'm a lot closer to monetization than I was two weeks ago. But, um, one thing that I do like doing is going through and reading the comments. I'm very much a comment section type of person. I was talking to admin and Nietzsche this morning and I was just like, some of y'all are on social media to be social and y'all see negative comments and then y'all immediately want to delete the, the post or whatever, or you want to get in your feelings about the negative comments. And I'm here to say, baby, bring the negative comments on because all of them count towards the algorithm. <laughs> I am not deleting it. Y'all can call me whatever you want to call me. You can say whatever you want to say because half the time I know the truth. It's uh, it's a video of me um, being on somebody else's podcast, right? And eventually they will hit my social media, but I'm very cognizant of what's going on. I'm not going to start posting this stuff on my social media knowing that he trying to run up his numbers and he trying to get paid off of it. So I'm not going to do that. I instead, I'm posting mine out and they'll come out like once a month over the next couple of months, but you'll still start seeing videos of me on this man's podcast. So there's one where he asked me a question, Rico, he asked me a question and he's asking me about, have I ever been with a white man? Now, y'all know that's not usually my line of conversation for real, for real, but it's not my show. It's his show. So I'm feeding into what his show is about. And he does cur current events and he talks about, you know, random topics. All right, bet. Y'all, you do understand what entertainment is, right? Like he didn't ask me to come be on his show to just answer the question, yes or no. So when he asked me, have you ever been with a white man? If I was just to answer, no. That's not good radio. That's not good TV. That's not good podcasting. That's not being a good guest. That's not being articulate. So I simply said, no, I've never been with a white man because, okay, when white men blush, all of the blood rushed to their face, right? This is scientific fact, right? When they blush, the blood rushes to their face and they turn red. So my idea, since I have never been with a white man, I ain't never seen a white man naked. When hit thing thing get hard, do it blush? <laughs> like do it, do it turn pink? And so it's people in the comment section talking about, oh, she's racist. That's not racism. That's asking an observational question that I don't understand the answer to. I don't know. I don't look at pink thing thing. So I'm just wondering, is that what it's going to look like? And then it really is a good question because if he's not circumcised, don't it pull out in turn? Okay. So anyways, they trying to flame me underneath the uh, comment section. One dude was like, he was like, that's why uh, she alone now, or that's why I don't nobody want to be with her so married been married for 13 uh, 10 years and together for 13 so that's not it and then right underneath your comment is somebody talking about hey what's her name she fine as hell 
y'all please as as social media creators and stuff like that 